Well, welcome to Fish Hook and welcome to my kitchen. We've got a little bit of a dilemma here. I got this beautiful cut of meat. Just bought it from the uh, grocery. It's a 3.37 pound of a chuck roast. Not a very expensive cut of meat, maybe about 30 bucks. But tonight, we're gonna do something that isn't normally done. We're gonna do a transformation. We're gonna take a chuck roast and we're gonna put it through my friend the sous vide in this beautiful water bath. And we're gonna convert this thing into tasting and almost looking like the famous ribeye. If I could blindfold you, I would probably fool most of you if you took a bite of this and a bite of a ribeye. Other than the contextual difference in the taste because it's only about this far away from the animal, it's the same section of the ribs where the ribeye comes from. So this is a very similar cut but a le way less expensive. We're gonna elevate this to where it never has been before. So let's get started. All right, let's take this out. It's a huge chunk of meat. Beautiful. Nice marbling. Very nice, very little fat. I had him trim this thing. So we're gonna season this pretty good with kosher salt, coarse, some black pepper, and olive oil. So let's, and we're going to do this a little bit different. In the sous vide bag, which I've got right here, nice large one, I'm gonna slice up an onion and put a bunch of onion in here, and then pour drizzle olive oil over that and put it in here and give it an additional little bit of olive oil and a little more touch of salt and pepper. We're gonna seal it and then we're gonna drop it in this beautiful bath. This is exciting. I've done a couple of these already, about three of these already, and every one has come out perfect. So let's just peel this and get the show on the road. I hope everybody's having a good day because you're fixing to have a much better one. And if you came hungry, you will not be disappointed, I promise. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's get started seasoning this and then we'll put the oil on last because I want I want to really pack this down it really takes a lot of salt we're gonna put it all around the meat all four sides I do the same thing when I have a big piece of meat, like a uh, prime rib of roast. I'll go ahead and salt it down like it'll have a crusty exterior. This really will bring out the flavors in the meat. pepper and again the black pepper is very subjective you do whatever you like I like it a lot it gives a wonderful wonderful taste
It's going to get more in the bag. There's not a lot of prep to this. Now you can add other beautiful ingredients like thyme, sage, rosemary. There's really no right and wrong. Okay. There's a fresh cut of meat. The butcher did this for me. Now we're ready different than the normal. Love onions. Love them. Excellent. All right. I'm going to vacuum seal this real quick. And I will be right back. Well, guys, my stomach is growling. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? We're going to transform this everyday poor man's steak and we're going to elevate it several notches. This is going to be completely cooked down. We're going to cook this for 24 hours at 131 degrees, which is medium rare. In this I've got a beautiful water bath here and I've got a holder in here like that and those are removable and adjustable for big pieces. She's fully seasoned. We're going to slowly put this in here oh, yeah. and then we're going to clip the side here to hold it in. Excellent. And we'll put this cover on it to stop it from evaporation. And we're going to leave this, turn it sideways so you can see it. <clears throat> we're going to leave this in here unattended for 24 hours. <clears throat> and when we come back, when we catch up tomorrow, we're going to cut it. We're going to cut it open and you're going to see from tip to tip, absolutely hands down, perfectly cooked to the desired doneness. Expectations happen and come to reality when you do sous vide. Vegetables, fish, whatever it is, through the chef steps, and there's many programs, but I use chef steps as I got some ready-made recipes. And then I experiment and I go off the charts and everything has come back better than expected. So guys, we're gonna catch up tomorrow. This time, this time, same bat channel, same bat time. And guys, we'll see you then. Well guys, 24 hours are up. 
She has fully cooked this at 131 degrees. So now's the time. We're gonna take this off. This is just a custom uh, plastic uh, basin made by Anova. It works perfect. And we're gonna take, oh my goodness, this thing, wow, it's heavy. Yeah, all cooked, beautiful. So we are going to try to slide this out and I'm going to hold the fluids in here if I can. Oh yeah. Let me see if I can, in fact, I'm going to drain a little bit of this juice. And with me today, I have a special guest. This is my nephew, Nathan, and I'm bringing him in to be an unbiased <laughs> review of this to see if this thing really has elevated the taste. I'm biased. I've done it three or four times already, and it has been spot on. So I would like to have him here. Oh, look. Wow. Isn't that nice? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> it's going to taste a whole lot better than it looks. That's a big piece of meat. So let me, in fact, let me just put it on here. Oh, yeah. And we're going to cut, let me cut a piece here. Oh yeah, this is medium rare. Oh yeah, I like that. I like it. You do <laughs> like it. Okay. Yeah, right. These are the onions that are cooked. All right. Let's cut this end and see what we got. Look at that. We'll go to this end. It's got some gristle over here. Look at that all the way to the end. So Nate, you're going to be the first one. All right. Let me just give you a reasonable piece yeah. and you got a fork there for you up there right. cut it whatever size you want okay. is that too big no, that's perfect okay all right good good okay. yes and you can give me an honest that uh, you do the honest first all right yeah. we'll just see if what I'm saying is true or false. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Does it taste like a normal chuck steak or what? <laughs> I gotta tell you, that's probably the best steak I think I've ever had, honestly. It's really? moist, juicy, and so much flavor. Look at that, guys. This so much fantastic. flavor. Mm. That's the real deal. I didn't think I over-seasoned it. Huh? No, not at all. Perfect. Okay, we're going to cut the middle. Now, That's perfect. what we're going to do now, I just want to taste it now. We're going to sear it on the stove here, and that's going to trap it in. That's going to give it the char grill. I just couldn't resist tasting it. This is a big piece of meat, too. So we're going to sear it for about two minutes on each side. Get a little hotter. Let that sear a little bit. Turn the flame up a little more. That just locks in the flavor. Yeah, but she's cooked perfect all the way through. Yeah. It's the way it's quite a long time, huh? Yeah, he oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, guys, you can do this. All you have to invest, these things run about 250, 275. Chef's that brand of uh, Jewel, and it is worth every penny. 
the recipes are real easy and nothing is you're not locked into a box that you can only cook a certain way. Absolutely not. Oh yeah. That's delicious. That's a huge piece of meat. But the average uh, recipe when we do a chuck steak, we get a three, three and a half pounder. This is almost 3.4 pounds. And it works beautiful. Cooks, uh, look at that, 24 hours, perfectly medium rare throughout. After that, we'll do the edges, and we'll roll it around in there. But if you guys have any comments, or any questions, or any other foods you'd like me to do on the sous vide, please put it in the comments below. We've got more sous vide com uh, videos coming with There'll be surprises on all the different things that you can cook. Cook. The variety is endless. Endless. Oh yeah. Nothing like searing it on a cast iron grill. We got baked potatoes in the oven, so we're gonna make a good meal out of it. This did not have a lot of gristle on it. Not like some other chuck steaks I've gotten. This side. Nothing like sealing the end of plate in there. Oh, oh man, doesn't it smell beautiful? Oh yeah. All right, so let's cut another piece. Oh, let's do this side uh, right here. That's coming along. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, it cut beautiful. So let's slice it up. Guys, look at that. Mm. Cut up a little bit and we'll munch on it a little bit and just see how it moves. All right, Nate. Mm. Oh, yeah. Better now. Oh, yeah. Mm. Some onions. Mm -hmm. uh, you can really put a lot of. Uh, a lot of vegetables cooking with it. You don't even need steak sauce for this. Searing it like that absolutely enhances the flavor, just locks it in, and you have a nice cap on your um that onion there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let onion in there. Look, he's unbiased. Mm. I told him this is taste testing time. Mm -hmm. And I need you to give me an honest review. Now, I'm not going to say every time I cook, it comes out spot on. It's amazing. Different type. But sous vide has never failed me. Never. Unbelievable. You yeah. like it, huh? Oh, yeah. That's on, on so good. Well, I want another piece. With that onion in there. Mm. Oh, yeah. I haven't tried the onion. You got to try it with the onion. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let me cut this off. And let's try it. With. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, delicious. Yeah. Well, it's good stuff. No, it's. <clears throat> I know it sounds biased. But this has been another one hit out of the park. You agree, Nate? Oh, absolutely. We're gonna chow down on this steak here for a little <laughs> bit. I hope you guys have enjoyed the content. This was fun doing this. I had to wait 24 hours, but truly, this thing is a godsend. Has revolutionized the way I do cooking. Who would have thunk that I could have cooked a three and a half chunk of meat like this, <laughs> and not even the most desirable cut on the animal, and I get a, I get a finish like this. Guarantee the doneness the way I want it from start from tip to tip start to finish in the cooking process. 
you guys can do this. I would love to hear stories if you guys have done it, what you've done, and maybe we'll do it here on the channel. Again, thanks so much. This has been a blast. If you're new to the channel, thank you for checking us out. Check out our other videos on YouTube. We've got well over 100. We've been on YouTube since about 2019 now. I took about a two year stay, a little over two years during COVID and pulled off. Took care of my home fires, my business and my family. And it has, it has been great, long awaited to come back and to restart this. And we've got so many different avenues that we're producing videos and different subjects. I think you guys will be very much uh, interested in that. And I think it'll entertain you. Again, thanks again. And we will see you on the next video. Thank you.